following on from my video about the auction sale of the Sunburst Gibson Les Paul Standard serial number 91865, a previous owner, John, has contacted me with some interesting details about the guitar and its history. In early 1971, John saw an advert for a Sunburst Standard in Melody Maker, the weekly British paper which at the time was the place to buy and sell gear. John remembers that there was no telephone number with the advert and thinks he must have had to write to the seller. That, he told me, is probably why it wasn't snapped up. Having received a favourable response, John travelled to Grimsby, the port town on the south bank of the Humber estuary, and handed over £200 for the guitar. He used it that very evening at a gig in Leeds and was disappointed that he didn't get an instant Jeff Beck tone, something he put down to using a Fender Showman and which, he observed, was the cleanest amp on the planet. Speaking of Jeff Beck, as previously pointed out, this guitar is just one serial number later than a well-known, very flamey Sunburst Les Paul that can be seen on page 90 of the famous Beauty of the Burst book. In August of that year, 1971, John and his band moved to London to try and make it. Living conditions were precarious and John often left 91865 in the van. His band's singer had previously been in the Ealing Art College band Smile. If that name sounds familiar, then it should do. And you might recognise the guy who became their next vocalist. Around that time, Smile were on the verge of signing a record deal and had changed their name to Queen. John remembers their guitarist, Brian May, lovingly fondling 91865 and that he felt a bit sorry for him because he could only afford a homemade guitar. As history was being made, John's musical tastes were changing towards country rock and American roots and in the September he sold his Sunburst Les Paul to Tempo Music in London for £250. Using the cash to buy a 1963 Telecaster and a 67 Larry Carlton 335, John was happy to get the guitars that more suited his new direction. Before selling the guitar to Tempo Music, John asked Mick Grabham, who had just joined Procol Harum, if he wanted to buy it, to which Mick said, I've already got one, mate. As you can see from the first photograph, the guitar still had its Bigsby when John got it. The unit was, however, cracked at the heel, and so it was John who replaced it with a stop tailpiece. I'd like to thank John for contacting me and sharing the photographs and these fascinating facts about 91865, the Morgan Burst, as it is now known. Please check out my Patreon page via the link below for tabs, backing tracks and more. If you are not already subscribed, please consider doing so to support the channel. Cheers for now.